Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well we've got the 150kV um, X-ray transformer unit here. I've uh, filled it back up with oil. The oil level is up to about there. And uh, I've, uh, it looks like a pole pig, doesn't it? I have got, I've got a pole pig! <laughs> no, it's not really a pole pig. <laughs> Wish it was a pole pig. But uh, is this thing going to... I'm going to launch this phone one day. Right, as you can see, this is the one of the outputs, okay? And there's a uh, straight to ground, anode, straight to ground. Uh, these are the insulators I've just got, the standoffs I've just got here, because that's where I'm going to be drawing an arc from that point just there. Uh, got to make sure there's a closed, there's no open circuit, it's a closed circuit constantly, because at the end of the day we don't want any problems. Oh, don't worry about the uh, array of caps there, I've, uh, I was messing around earlier on. So, as you can see, uh, running this and, uh, and we're running it from a ZVS driver. There's the ZVS driver going through the ferrites and the output. Uh, I had a comment uh, on one of my videos, I can't remember which video it was now. Um, somebody was asking me um, about a ZVS driver. Um, I can't remember what it was now, I've had that many emails. I always say that, don't I? Um, if you if you don't understand it, I think it's something about he didn't understand a ZVS driver of what um, the, the circuit components were for. Um, if you're not sure about the uh, circuits of a ZVS, uh, just Google it and it should come up with some uh, information. There should be some forums or something about uh, ZVS drivers. Um, and then the end of the day, I don't want to uh, point you in the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, it's always best just to search Google images or search Google for some forums and. Uh, you know, it should hopefully help you out. But uh, everybody builds these things differently. Everybody's got their own way, uh, what they're comfortable with. So, but anyway, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Let's uh, see that point there, guys. That's where I'm going to be doing the arc. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put my phone down here because I need two hands. Make sure that I get it right. Mm, I believe that's about right there. Right, here we go. Straight off the variac, guys. No power supply. Giving out a, just a constant voltage. I'm using a using my variac because it's better. Right, here we go. Hope it's not too loud for you. Let's make sure that that's. So you can see that on camera. Yeah, awesome. Got new, new chicken stick. 40 volts, guys. 40. Oh, got a cap smoking down here. It's getting a bit hot. Oh, God, it stinks as well. That was getting a bit hot. Jesus, that is hot. It's actually melting the plastic. There's always a failure with something in there with circuits. Jesus, that is hot. I was only pumping 45, 50 volts through the bloody thing. It, uh, it's just the amperage though, it can't take the amperage. Bloody piece of crap. Let's wire it up to that one. Hold on, let's try it with that one. Right, got it on that one now, so straight for that one. We'll see what the output is with this one, because I've changed the uh, ferrite. That's a nice toroidal ring type. So we'll see from that one. Let's see if this one gets hot. Place it down. Make sure you can see it. So how we get on with this one, eh, hey, guys? Is it still recording? Yeah. That was 50 volts guys, let's check the cap, 
Mm, capacitor is not too bad. Ferrotroidal rings getting a bit warm. ZVS. It's cold as ice. It's cold as ice. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, that's really, uh, is it still recording? Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Hello, world. <laughs> no, let's try it again, shall we? Sorry about that. One more, let's see if we can get it to 60. Sorry about the noise of this. Jesus. Sixty volts there. I think me, uh, yep, it has. Look at the swelling of that. Damn. Literally burnt itself straight off, guys. How insane is that? Look at that. It's like my belly. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Com come off completely, it just went pop straight off. It soldered itself, desoldered itself straight off. How insane is that? <sighs> See if we can get another one on there, hold on. I think it's uh, I'm going to be alright good to add some spare ones I put two in parallel so hopefully that uh, might take a bit more away from one to the other share the uh, out you know, the ZVS uh, power so for the output let's see what this is like then shall we guys normally when your caps come off it normally blows your bloody ZVS driver up but uh, hopefully it may be all right, eh? Let's try this one then. Power. I do apologise about the sound, guys. Oh. Just killed the caps. Oh my god, how pathetic. How pathetic is that? So bloody annoying sometimes. Right, let's try the other one, see if that one's any better. <laughs> I'm getting much luck with these buggers. Right, let's see how we get on with this one. Connected it back up to this, hopefully it might be a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler. So we'll see how we get on, eh guys? This is the last one, because we're getting on to uh, eight and a half minutes. And I don't want to keep you guys for too long. God, my flipping legs have gone dead and been kneeling down for ten minutes. Alright, here we go then, guys. Forty volts. This one is it's quite a nice output, actually. Let's try that cap. Make sure it's not getting too hot. No, it's not too bad at the minute. That's not too bad at the minute. Freezing. Freezing cold. <laughs> of course, it's an industrial bloody uh, X-ray unit. It's meant to take power. Fifty. Caps getting a bit wham. 
just noticed a bit of smoke coming out of it when I knocked it round to 55. Yeah, it's a bit wham that is. Hope you, you guys enjoyed that video. Swapping, it's good you had the two though, isn't it? To swap, to swap to that one so this one could cool down a little bit. So I've got a bit of a fan blowing towards me, it's a quiet fan blowing towards me, so it tries to keep things a little bit cooler. But uh, yes, that's uh, quite an output. Can you imagine that on 100 volts? Jesus. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> so there you have it. Some piece of machinery, I will say that. More machinery. Uh, transformer, inverted style, whatever you want to call it. So many different names to these things. It's a thing. <laughs> There's my chicken stick. So as you see, I had it, had it earthed, you see, so always best to have things earthed out. <clears throat> yeah, it, uh, I'm trying to think how much oil came out of that one. I eventually uh, drained it. It took quite some containers of bloody oil. Well, that's a 20 litre, that is. Or 25 litres of... Um, 25 litre containers of these. And uh, they do... Uh, Tell you something, I'm sure I got about 50, 50 litres of oil out of that drum. It's quite a big drum. So, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I know my light's gone out because my battery's dying on my phone. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves. Hope you're all safe and being well, whatever you're doing. Always be careful, guys, please. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll speak again. Thanks, guys.